Hey guys, so we are going to continue looking at pronoun verb agreement. And our goal is I can write correct verb tenses in order to make the pronouns and verb agree. So looking at these two sentences, which one is the correct way? They mix the dough or they mixes the dough? You should have picked the first one, they mix the dough. They is the pronoun talking about the people that are doing the mixing. And that means we do not add ES to the verb. So when we are using pronoun verb agreement, we need to decide when we have to add S or ES. So we have to look at the pronoun first and then um, the ending of the verb. So for the pronouns he, she, and it, we will need to add the S or the ES because they are singular pronouns. So for example, the sentence, she mixes tomatoes, onions, and peppers to make salsa. She is the pronoun, it is a singular pronoun, and mix ends in the X, so we have to add ES to the end of the word. For pronouns I, you, we, and they, you do not add the S or the ES. So they mixes, they mix corn and water to make taco shells. So they is more than one person. We do not add the ES. We leave it alone. All right, so we're going to look at which verb tense should be used to complete the sentence. So we have the word like that we need to put into the sentence. You are going to change it or um, leave it alone so that it completes the sentence complete correctly. So we volleyball. So put in the correct verb tense for like. You should have left it alone and it should be we like volleyball. The next one she, you have to decide which verb tense of hit goes in the sentence. She hits the ball. Because it is one person, we add the S. And number three, she, the taco shells to make them crispy. We need to put in the correct verb tense for fry. You should have said she fries the taco shells to make them crispy. And when you change the verb tense, you should have spelled it F-R-I-E-S because we change the Y to an I and add E-S. Let's look at a couple more. She blank limes to make a pie. Change the cur the verb use to make it complete the sentence. You should have said uses. She uses limes to make a pie. They blank tomatoes to make sauce. You need to put in the correct verb tense of smash to make the sentence complete. You should have put they smash tomatoes to make sauce. So um, they is plural, so we leave the verb alone. We blank the snowflakes in our hands. Put in the correct verb tense of catch. You should have said we catch the snowflakes in our hand. We do not need to change it because we is plural. He blank me a glass of water. What is the correct verb tense of bring? You should have said he brings me a glass of water. So we add the S because it is a singular pronoun. The apple blank when I bite it. What is the correct verb tense for crunch? You should have said, the apple crunches when I bite it. 
you would spell that C-R-U-N-C-H-E-S because the verb crunch ends in C-H, we add the E-S. Looking at our truck wash story or paragraphs, Grandpa likes to keep his old truck sparkling clean. He wash it once a month, even if the truck is not dirty. Truck wash days are so fun, so I likes to help Grandpa. First, we scrubs the truck with soapy water. Somehow, I always get wet. Oops, Grandpa says, winking at me. Next, the truck is sprayed with a garden hose. Now, it look shiny and new again. Finally, Grandpa and I go for a drive to dry off the truck. We are going to be looking at sentence four. What is the correct way to write sentence four? A. First, we scrub the truck with soapy water. B. First, us scrubs the truck with soapy water. C. First, they scrubs the truck with soapy water. Or D. First, them scrub the truck with soapy water. You should have chosen A. First, we scrub the truck with soapy water. The pronoun is we. So we are going to have um, a plural pronoun. That means that our verb scrub does not get an S or an ES.